Welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a leaking faucet. So stay tuned. Once again, friends, thank you so much for tuning in once again. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs and how to videos on this channel. So this is my bathroom faucet and it's been leaking for a couple of days now. At first it was just a a drip every 10 seconds but now you can see that the drip has been uh, it's gotten worse and it's been dripping every two seconds now and with that kind of drip it will add up and it will raise your utility bill now we want to shut off the hot side first now if we shut this off and it stops leaking then that means it's the hot side so there you have it. I think I have I tightened it already So it is the hot side that is leaking. Okay, so let's do that test again. Let's turn it back on just to make sure. Okay, turned it on. Yep, so it is the hot side that's leaking. In this case, we'll just shut off both water supply lines. Now, sometimes these, these knobs right here get really stuck and it's really hard, so if you have channel lock pliers, I highly suggest you use those because since we're making this video anyways, I want to just replace both cartridges because I already have the two cartridges. I bought the hot, one for the hot, I labeled it one for the hot and one for the cold. Um, we're going to test it out first right there. There's no water now that's coming through. It's different per each model, but it's kind of the same concept for every faucet that there's some kind of locking screw onto the side right here that you can unscrew so you can pop this off to get into the cartridge. Now in this case, the locking screw is right here. So what we're going to use is an Allen wrench to take this off. So what to get access to it, I'm just going to point it out this way and then use my Allen wrench. So pick the correct size for your model. Then we're gonna loosen this up. There you have it, there's that screw. Make sure that you uh, keep this in a safe place and you don't lose it or prevent it from going down the sink because that would be a very bad day. Okay, now save this. So after you unscrew it, you can easily just pop this off just like that. And as you can see, there is a tag on this cartridge. And on the tag, you can see the serial number. There should be a serial number right there. There's the model number. This is a P. Fisher brand. And here is the model. I don't know if you can see it, but your faucet should have some sort of ID tag attached onto the, the faucet itself so that you can identify what model it is and you can go to the manufacturer online. Um, what, I, what happened with mine is I couldn't really find this model number um, when I searched it on Google. So I actually ended up emailing the actual manufacturer and they told me the size model cartridge that I needed. So I just went to their website and I contacted them directly. So P Fisher e emailed me back and they sent me the serial number for the hot side. And that is the 960 And they also sent me the, the serial number for the cold side, the 960 Each one is different. So don't confuse it. Make sure that you contact the manufacturer. They've looked very identical, but they're very different. And also what I did was after I contacted, I didn't actually buy this on their website. I actually went to Amazon and found it a lot cheaper. So make sure you do your searching around online. This hot cartridge is held down by this locking nut. Take your crescent wrench. This one is an adjustable crescent wrench. Again, all the tools that I use, I'll leave it on the link down below. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. That's how I always figured it out. Okay. Now you have to take this part off. So you're going to get your Phillips, looks like a Phillips screwdriver and we'll unscrew the top. It's 
little rusted then you can pull it off just like that and there's that cartridge I highly suggest that you work on each side one at a time um, just so that you don't confuse yourself if you take both of them at the same time you might get the cartridge mixed up so here's the old cartridge versus the new cartridge see how they look identical now it looks like we have to take this little plastic nut off and transfer it to this side you just take your channel lock pliers and then just gently wiggle it out there you have it there is a flat portion of here just match it up with the flat groove of the new one and then just place it back inside take that screw screw it back on top it's very important that before you actually put the locking nut right here the the locking collar test it out with your faucet and make sure that it's actually turning to the right direction that you don't have it flipped on the other side for example this right here this is on this is off okay so it is working on the right turn after that you've tested that put on the locking collar nut Now take the handle, place it back on. Now we're going to take our locking screw, place it back on your Allen wrench, and then re-screw it on the back of the handle. So now that we have the old cartridge off, we put the new cartridge in. Let's turn on the hot uh, water supply on. And then if it is on and it starts leaking, that means there's something wrong. But if it doesn't leak, that means we did it real well. Okay, let's turn on let's turn it back on no leak So let's wait for a few seconds here and see if it drips. No drip. We're good. You can skip this part, but I'll show you how to do the cold side. It's pretty much the same thing as I did on the hot side. But since I have the cartridge for this anyways, let me just show you how to do it. So the water supply is still off on the cold side. We'll flip it on. So I can get to the locking screw at the back. This one's a little stubborn. There we go. So take your channel lock pliers, grip it, and then we can just pull it off. Take your wrench. Lefty Lucy. You're having a hard time taking it out. Take your channel locks and pull that off. Okay, so this is still good, but since I have the cold cartridge anyways, I'm going to go and replace it with a brand new one so I don't have to go later on if this fails and do it again. So if you have both cartridges, just do it all at the same time. It'll save you trouble in the future. Okay. Now take your plastic nut, match it with the groove. like that again we want to test it out first before inserting it completely see that this is on 
that's off. Take the locking nut. Then put back the handle. Take your locking screw and lock the handle back on. Right when we have this nice and installed, we can turn on back the water supply on the cold side since this is already on. There you have it, it's back on. Now we want to wait for a few seconds. No drips. So as you can see friends, we fixed the leaking faucet. It's a very easy project to do. You can do this. It's, a, it's very easy. All you got to do is have the right tools, the right cartridges, and it's that simple. Now again, each uh, brand has different sizes of cartridges, but I assure you that every brand is very similar to this same um, process. So again, friends, um, if you enjoyed this and found this video helpful, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do on this channel. Okay, friends, so all the tools that I used here, the cartridges, I'll uh, leave it on the link down on the description below to make it easier for you. So once again, friends, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video.